In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the announcements tool in Canvas. Announcements can be really handy in a couple of ways. One, if you want to do just a welcome message um, that shows up at the top of the screen for your students. And two, if you plan on using doing kind of timely messages throughout the course, it can be a really good way to get that information to them in an easy to see format. So. Creating an announcement is very simple, but making it visible to students can be a little bit trickier, and I'm going to show you both things. So in order to create a new announcement, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, on the course homepage, there's a new announcement button right here. You can also go to the announcements area and then click the plus announcement button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. From here, very straightforward, just like you're creating like a discussion board post or sending an email. Um, I'll just call this announcement to and I can type things here. You can type text, you can add pictures. There's a lot of different options you can do when you create this. You can add an attachment, you can schedule it for a later date. You can allow your users to comment, which is kind of nice. Um, and you can allow them to like it, which can be an interesting thing as well. So feel free to play with all of those things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now I've created my announcement, and if I go back to the announcements area, I've got actually got two that I have in this particular course, and it's got my picture here showing that I posted the announcement. Um, but there's still not a really easy way for students to see those announcements. Um, right now I have my announcements tab hidden, and I do not have announcements turned on to appear at the top. So let's fix that now. If you want to make your announcements appear at the top of your home page of your course, it's very hidden, but you go to settings, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you click more options. And this first box is show recent announcements on course homepage. So whatever you have is your course homepage, the announcements will appear at the top of that and you can choose how many to show. So the default is three, I think that's a pretty good number, but you could choose to have one or two or whatever number made sense for your course. You could show those announcements on the homepage. So I just switched it to one. I'm gonna hit update course details. Then if I go back to the home page, you can now see recent announcements showing here at the top. So this would be great if this was like a home welcome message that said, hey, welcome to blah, blah, blah course um, and giving just some guidance, especially if you are having students in an online course for the first time. But you also may want to let students have a repository of all the announcements that you've posted in the course. And if you want to do that, probably the best way to do it is to make the announcements area visible. If I switch this to student view right now, you can see my students can view this announcement, but they have no way of getting to the announcements tab. So I'm going to leave the student view and I'm going to show you how to make that announcements tab visible. So in order to do that, I need to go back to settings and I need to go to navigation. And you can see these are the things that are visible for students and I can take announcements and I can drag it up here to the top. And then if I scroll down and save this, now you'll notice announcements has moved to the top of my list and it doesn't have the eyeball crossed out. If I go back to the home page and I switch to student view, now my students are still seeing the announcement here, but if they click on the announcements link, they're also going to see all the announcements that I have posted in the course. Um, and this, I think, is a really valuable thing if you're going to be posting repeated announcements throughout the course that students can go back and see that archive. So hopefully this gives you an overview of how to use the announcements tool in your Canvas course, and let me know if you have any questions.